What's up everybody, Coach Trevor here. So today in this video, we're gonna go over a Paloff press. And this is an anti-rotational exercise, okay? So you're, they're gonna be resisting rotation, all right? So the outside load's gonna be trying to pull them this way. They're gonna be resisting it, doing their best to stay square. So there's tons of variations to this guy, okay? I'm gonna show you just a very basic one, um, and then maybe a few variations off of that. But the main concept behind this is that they have to be square and they have to be bracing, creating tension and making sure that they're not being pulled in one direction, okay? They're controlling the load or the resistance, not the other way around, all right? So for this one, it's gonna be about belly button height, hands in with each other, and when they're grabbing, when you're grabbing the band, just squeeze the band and I'll squeeze the hand on top of it, okay? You can interlace your fingers, whatever you want. For me, I just make a fist, I squeeze this one here. Now, have some soft knees so you're gripping the floor. You're gonna scoot out a little bit, so there's a little bit of resistance. Take a breath through your stomach, abs are nice and tight, pressing out nice and slow, arms are nice and straight, and you're gonna pull it right back in, okay? Keep this in line with your center line. So the goal is make sure your hips are square, they're not shifting to the side, right? Not shifting to the side. Nose is in line with the belly button as well, okay? Maybe I can get to the side like this, you can see it better, boom. So I'm not shifting at all, everything's stacked on top of each other, all right? And then you're just gonna be pressing out like this, boom, coming right back in. On the press, I wanna make it to where it's almost perpendicular to your body as you're doing these, okay? You can do variations where your arms are straight and you do lateral steps nice and slow, making sure your hips stay on top of each other and then slowly shifting back, okay? Obviously, whatever you hit on one side, you can turn around, hit on the other side as well. Um, variations are, I might have to lower the band a little bit, like squat holds or just squat reps in general. So it can be like this, boom, abs nice and tight, grip the floor, take a breath. You're bracing, right, right hips down. As you come down, you can press here and hold the squat or as you go down, press out, boom, come right back to here, okay? You can also do a split stance or even just like a soft stagger stance, right? Knees are bent like this, boom, split stance here, abs on tight, boom, just like that, okay? Or just holding the position and hitting it. All right, there's even uh, overhead positions, but that's more of like an anti-lateral thing mixed up with some rotation with it as well. Okay, so there's lots of variations. Like I always say, there's no right way of doing things. Um, as long as you stick to principles and you're smart and things are aligned, you can start building off of that. 